Hi guys, Bernie here. Uh, hunting along this fence line next to this playground. Nothing old or spectacular, but I got myself a little coin spill. And it just keeps on coming out. See if I can get, get something going here. Oh, I know what that is. A chunk of a pop can. Uh, that's nothing. I don't know quite sure what that is. I have to dig that out later and see what this is. But there's still something here. I'll keep digging and see what I can find. Oh, nail. Right, so there's still a few more signals here, so I'll get back to you with what I find. Alright, the last signal was just a bottle cap. Uh, not too bad for, well, I don't know, two by two square. So all I had to do was dig through the dirt a little bit and Good handful, of good handful of clad. Not too bad. All right, guys, I got a live dig going here. Uh, first thing I pulled out was this old pocket knife, and then I popped out this wheat, and then another wheat, and a memorial, and then another wheat, and another wheat, and there's more down here. Uh, another wheat. I think it's another wheat. Too smooth to be a memorial. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, good little find. I got a pocket spill of wheat and a pocket knife. Cool. Alright guys, I'm back on this hole that I was digging on. I still had another signal down here in the hole. So I took this whole corner out and laid it over here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? I know it's silver. Oh God, I'm excited. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Oh, it is a 1961 D. My first silver coin I've ever dug out of the ground. It's a rosy, but it is so freaking awesome. I love it. This is the greatest hole I've ever dug. All right, here's the wrap from the from the hunt today. Um, did pretty good, pretty good. Um, took a cue from a gentleman I'm following, uh, metal detecting PA, and was checking along a fence line. Got two very nice coin spills along that fence. I can't complain. Thanks, Bill, for the for uh, giving me the gumption to go and check along that fence. All right, let's start with the uh, the junk. Here's that uh, chunk I pulled out of that first coin spill. Uh, stainless steel blaze. Looks like a handle off of some type of cl uh, hedge clipper. Got a cap off a cigar tube. Says handmade cigars. Rabies tag. Looks like the roof off of an old Tonka truck. I got half, half of a cap gun. <laughs> Only half. Little makeup container. Still actually has makeup in it. Lighter, a fork, and we got a lip balm. What's left of a jet? little chunk of slag. This thing here, it's a gear shift off of a Schwinn, old Schwinn. Pretty neat. 
Uh, another what's left of another toy car hit by a mower. Somebody's house key. All right, now let's go to the coinage. All right, there's all my coppers, and there's the zincs. We got dimes, one nickel, and a few quarters. All right, pulled a Canadian dime out as well. Now, all right, as for the greatest hole that I ever dug is right here. First thing that popped out was this pocket knife. Then all these wheats and the pieds de la resistance. The 1961 D Roosevelt dime. My first ever silvers. Absolutely beautiful coin. Now, all these wheats were pretty trashed. Uh, couldn't get a date off of most of them. The green stuff on it was terrible. Really terrible. So, since I, got, I already had a first with the silver, I figured I would try my first at electrolysis. Figured the coins aren't worth much pulling them out of the ground anyway. I'll give them a shot. They're just going into my collection. So, found an old cell phone power supply, hooked up a couple paper clips, popped them in a bowl, cleaned them up, and here's what I got. We have a 1935. A 1942. A 51S. A 51D, a 53D, a 56D, 58D, and a 59 Memorial. Can't say that the electrolysis hurt them too bad. They they're a little bit bit of pitting, but I'm happy with it. The 58D here, apparently it was sitting up next to the to the dime. Bottom corner here had a lot of green on it that I couldn't get off. I put it in the electrolysis for about 10 seconds, and boom, come right off. Absolutely wonderful. And oh, oh, forgot about this little guy. Just another 59 memorial that I found. Not in the same hole, but that was completely awesome. I'm on the board, so watch out. They're going to start coming, I hope. All right, thank you for watching, and happy hunting.